former U.S. Anglo-American advisor and senior fellow of the Bow Group think tank Lee Cohen told Express.co.uk the tide was turning on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle in the U.S. despite initial positivity and welcomeness. Mr. Cohen explained while the royal couple may be beyond redemption in the U.K., there are many sensible Americans who are beginning to think that way also. He stressed Prince Harry and Meghan Markle had the best teachers and guidance in the royal family they could possibly have and could not fully understand why they would not follow what was expected of them. Speaking to Express.co.uk, Mr. Cohen was asked what could Prince Harry and Meghan do to improve their popularity. And in a warning, he said, Well, I'm not sure. I would suspect in Britain in many quarters they are beyond redemption. And many among the more sensible American audiences feel that way too. They've abandoned the country that welcomed them warmly and burnt all of the bridges of goodwill that were extended to them. Mr. Cohen then discussed the initial reaction to the Duchess of Sussex in the UK. He continued, at the beginning, there was genuine enthusiasm about the new Duchess. She was really this sort of fresh prospect and many felt she could modernise the monarchy in a positive way. Sadly, all these things went in a different direction because either she didn't understand the role or she was unwilling to accept some of the conditions of the role. You know, these are public figures and it's not as though they're isnt an expected way to behave. She should have completely been on board with that. And for heaven's sake, most people would be absolutely thrilled to become a royal. Most people would do whatever it takes to enjoy the many privileges that come with that life. And they would understand that to enjoy those privileges there are sacrifices of discretion that have to be made. Harry and Meghan had wonderful models. The Queen herself and most of the royal family obey the conventions of what is expected of them while avoiding controversial issues. Mr. Cohen added Prince Harry's comments on the First Amendment was an extremely bad move on the Duke's behalf and begged him to stay out of politics, especially on contentious topics in a new home country. When asked if Americans wanted a royal family as the reason behind why the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were welcomed in the US, Mr. Cohen disagreed but explained Americans have huge respect for the royal family. Mr. Cohen added these polls suggest an admiration and respect for the royal family but found there was little desire for the US to quasi-adopt one. The political writer also found US audiences were less experienced with the royal family and so were more forgiving when protocols or behaviours were not followed. He pointed towards the Royal Oprah Winfrey interview where he found the British press and audience, in general, were more systematically critical. Mr. Cohen stressed, however, America was two countries and could not speak for everyone who either worships or condemns the royal couple. It comes after Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been quick to speak of their troubles within the firm since cutting ties with the royal family. Since leaving their roles, Prince Harry claimed he had been cut off from his father financially and Meghan said she was not given help when she was struggling with her mental health. The pair also made claims of racism within the firm during their bombshell Oprah Winfrey interview.